What is up guys? Welcome to iDevice Central channel, I'm Joe Snow. Today I'm gonna show you how you can compile yourself the IMG4 tool created by Xerop. That's a extremely important tool if you're creating custom-made firmwares or modifications to iOS 10 because it helps you to decrypt and decompress important parts of the firmware. But unfortunately, it comes in a um, in a format that's just a project you have to compile yourself. And if you don't know how Cygwin works, then that's a problem. You won't be able to do that yourself. So I'm going to show you today how you can do that easily and without any hassle. But before we start, I want to make a, a single call out to remind you that I also run a music-based channel that I start up. Uh, one month ago and I wanted to ask you if you could subscribe to this channel I'm posting great music you could definitely check it out right here and I do have a couple of uh, videos already posted so you have um, a couple of videos to see uh, how how the music is I mean how uh, the, the genre is and if you can just click this big button to subscribe right now that appears on your screen. It won't close this video, it will just redirect you to another window and you can subscribe to the channel. It costs you nothing, but trust me, you won't regret it. So now let's just go back to the um, the project. This is the uh, Xerops IMG4 tool and as you can see it comes as a project, not as an application that you can run. And if you're not a programmer and you don't know how to work with uh, those projects wrote, um, written in uh, C and C++ and so on, then you feel stuck. This is an extremely useful application and you don't have where to take it because if you search it on Google there isn't any record with the binaries, just the project. Let me show you. At first you need to land here on this page on Xerob's IMG4 tool GitHub, then simply clone and download. Well, this, this is not going to fix your problem entirely, but this is where you start. Just click on the uh, archive you've got and prepare to extract everything you see right here. In this case, it's this folder. The folder, as I said, contains the uh, project itself. If you don't have Visual Studio installed, this files won't have any icon. It will simply be a white file. But don't worry. Now you need to install Cygwin. Uh, Cygwin comes as an executable and is available in the description. It installs itself very easy, but after you install it, it will create a folder in your um, C drive called Cygwin. And this is how it looks like, of course, without any Libby mobile related stuff. This is the setup uh, itself. And in order to go through it, you simply need to launch it and next, 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 next. And it will uh, show you these available download sites. Just click next and it will start downloading everything. I'm not going to because I already have it. After you are done, you will see this on your screen. It's called the Cygwin terminal. Now, if you're not familiar with it, you're going to get into. So what does Cygwin do? Well, uh, Cygwin basically emulates the Unix operating system components on your Windows PC because Windows is made on different core, on different structure. We, we're not going to talk about this. This is too low level for you for the moment. But Unix is the base for uh, operating systems like OS X or Linux or Ubuntu, which is definitely Linux, and so on. So what does this program do? It helps you to run and compile programs that are made to work for Linux so you can work with them on Windows. This is a cross platform if you want. Now let me show you how you can build this IMG4 tool. Well, it's pretty simple, but it's not complete. See, when you download it from here, you can see that LZFSE folder is just linked right here. And if you download it, it is empty. And you need to install it because if you don't, that would be a problem. So go here, click on the LZFSE folder right here and clone and download this project as well. If you don't do that, you will get errors. Okay, then you simply need to open WinRAR, close this. Uh, let me refresh a little bit, okay. Open everything from here and extract the component into the LZFS folder. Okay, I'm done. So what's the procedure? At first, before you start creating the EMG4 tool, you need to make the LZFSE. In order to do that, you simply need to CD 
go back here, take this folder, and now you're in. Simply write make. It will make the entire project and you will be done in a couple of seconds. Probably takes a little bit. Okay. And we're done. Now in the LZFS folder you have the binaries and of course the app itself. Now we should be good to go, but not completely. We need to modify something. You see the make file right here is configured to create a 64-bit version of the app. Now if your computer is running 32-bit like mine, uh, I'm going to show you 32-bit right here, then you won't be able to compile the app. Let me show you. So if you CD back into this folder, into the main uh, IMG tool folder and you write make, it will give you this error, sorry, unimplemented, 64-bit mode not compiled in. So in order to fix that, if you're a 32-bit user, simply remove this flag right here, which basically tells the compiler that you want, and this one right here, that you want a 64-bit version. Now, if you're a 64-bit operating system, you're good to go. You don't need to modify anything. Now, if you write make again, it should start doing this. And you should be good to go. Okay, there we go. So we should have the application, but let me show you. If you run it in CMD right now, it doesn't start, simply doesn't want to work. But if you start it in the, um, in the terminal right here for the Unix, as you can see, it works. Why? Well, because the application is just compiled to work with uh, Windows, but it's not complete without Cygwin. If you want to install it on a computer that doesn't have Cygwin, you need to copy a couple of files. Copy the executable, then navigate to your C drive or wherever you install Cygwin, Cygwin folder and then binary. Write Cy and you will find a lot of DLL files. You need Cycrypto, uh, which is this one right here, Cycrypto 1.0. Then you need to go to the end. Let me go to the end. Okay, and take this one and this one, Cygwin1 and Cygz. Those files are required in order to make your application work. So now you no longer need to start it in the terminal of the Cygwin, you can start it in CMD from any computer. Let me show you. Just a second. Yep, sorry, uh, there was one more DLL called SIGGCC. Now this one is required as well. So in order to import this application or export it on any other computer that doesn't have SIGWIN installed, make sure you have these four DLLs inside the folder of the app. If you remove the app from that folder with the DLLs, then you will get the error again. Let me show you, okay? You can see it's uh, simply black. If I put it back here with the DLLs, and I try to start it, it works. Now let me try to start it, to work with it a little bit. So we have the app, I'm going to simply write image, and we have in this resources the uh, RAM disk of the iOS 10.0.2 iPhone 5S. Let me try to decrypt this one and create a new handle. Okay, desktop, okay, will be new.dmg. RAM disk and it created the file. Now, let me show you the difference. This is the original file that is encrypted. And if I open it, no Mac HFS volume found. This is the file created with the new IMG4 tool we compiled. And if we open it, welcome. And this is it. You have everything here, including the ASR. So this is it guys, you can do the same with the kernel if you want, but I think you got the idea. This application is a gold mine if you're working with the firmware. So this is it guys, thanks for watching. I really hope you learned a little bit today on how to use Cygwin and how to compile this project yourself, because I saw a lot of people having this issue with the project. You can download the project from uh, this website, of course, and do not forget to check out my music channel as well and subscribe if you want to and also subscribe to this channel, the iOS channel you're watching right now to stay updated. Until the next time, peace out.